Hey, I'm Sarah Peterson. Thanks for joining me today. Have you ever caught yourself thinking, man, everybody loves the post when I post my pet? Or everybody loves that post when I'm posting the family picture or the fun holiday party or the vacation. But when I post about other stuff, and especially when I post about my MLM, nobody pays any attention at all. It's like I haven't even posted on Facebook at all. Have any of you guys ever felt like that? Today I'm gonna share why that's actually not a bad thing and how you can use that to your advantage to gain more people into your MLM team and onto your down. The first thing I want you to do is I want you to go look at your Facebook posts. And I want you to take a little mental note of what kind of posts are getting you the most likes. Which kind of posts are they? Are they the ones where you write a big line story? Are they the ones with the short little caption? Are they the ones with your family picture or the vacation or the dog picture? Are they just the blog posts with some text? What kind of posts are they? And I want you to take a mental note of it. Which ones have more? Which ones have crickets? Where you're checking back going, wait a second, did I not even post that thing? So I want you to keep note of that. Now, if you're like the majority of people on Facebook, it's pictures of your family, it's pictures of your vacation, it's pictures of your dog. Now, part of that is because social media is meant to be social. People are going on there to be entertained. They're going on when they're bored. They're not going on looking for a sales pitch, right? Well, the problem with that is that you're using Facebook to build your downline and to grow your MLM team. So if you are not posting about your family or your dog or your last vacation or the cool things your kids are doing, nobody's paying attention. They're ignoring your posts about come join my MLM. They're ignoring your posts about buy my products and they're just scrolling on by. So I want to show you how to actually use those posts that are doing really well, but actually be able to turn them back around so that people are now interested in your MLM. So one of the best ways to do that is to figure out what kind of picture it is. What picture or what type of post is sparking the most interest? Is it the long, long post where you're writing a lot? Or is it the short, short post where they're just reading it really quick and moving on? And especially what kind of pictures is it? Now, 90% of the time, it's the pictures, right? It's the fun family pictures. It's the awesome vacation pictures. It's the pictures of your dog or your cat or your animals doing something really crazy, right? So what I want you to use is use that kind of picture and I want you to put a caption on it or a post. And again, if your readers like long posts, then make it a long post. If they like short and snappy posts, make it a short and snappy post. But you're going to post something that leads them back to your network marketing opportunity. So for example, if you are in essential oils, maybe you're putting that quick post about my family loves it. And the fall time when I grab out that warmer and I put the new scent in there and it makes the whole house smell like fall. And you can do that for anything. Now it's gonna stop them in the tracks because it's the picture of your family, right? But the caption is only loosely related to your family because it takes them right straight back into your network marketing company. Now it's not a hard sales pitch, it's a really easy sales pitch. And chances are that a lot of the comments are gonna be, Wow, what's your favorite scent? What do you like to put in? You know, can you help me find something that's that kind of smell? I'm not really finding any of those warmers like I wish I had. Where did you get your warmer? All those kind of questions, right? Now you can do that with any product, with any industry. So for example, if you've got a weight loss product, I would never say weight loss because people don't want to call themselves out as being overweight and needing to lose weight, right? But you can put something like, my dog just loves it when I start eating healthy. When I put that protein shake in the blender, he comes running because he knows that that means that we're going for a walk. It's as simple as that, but you're using that picture of the dog because again, that's gonna catch people's attention because that's the kind of stuff that they're reacting to in your posts. Keep track of that, and as you're finding some of these posts that are starting to get more likes or getting more engagement, go ahead and file that away, and in a couple months, you can use that same post again as you've already written it. Thanks for watching today, and I'll see you soon.